Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad, and in this video I'm quickly going to cover my DC conversion for my Starlink. So in my trailer, I try to keep everything DC powered. While I do have a small inverter, and I did use it for running the Starlink router initially, it's very wasteful because it takes a lot of energy to convert DC to AC, just for it to be converted back to DC inside the router once again. So I have had this completed for quite some time. I did do some testing in the backyard, but it's not quite the same as being out in the middle of nowhere actually needing to use it. So I've had a couple trips under the belt with it, and I'm going to quickly review how I did it. And also, down below, I'll put all the links I used. You can get everything on Amazon. It's not too expensive to convert it. And my way doesn't involve cutting any wires, splicing anything. It uses everything the way it was, so you can still use a Starlink router if you want to, or use a DC one. It doesn't make a difference. So let's deep dive into how I did this. So for starters, I had this watertight box. It's not really waterproof anymore because I did drill some holes into it, but... It's a nice box keep all the bits and pieces in there and this is the original cable that came with it and all my ends are still the same as they were when i got it so i can still use it with the regular router or i can use it with my dc router so inside this box and again i'll pull the links to everything down below inside the box you'll see where the starlight cable comes in and it plugs into this guy down here this little box here does the first part of the magic where it converts the dishy plug into rj45 so you can now use it into your poe injector this box here is your power ethernet injector. It takes the 48 volts of DC power and allows it to be put into the CAT5 or CAT6 cable here. This here is your 48 volt buck converter. This takes your 12 volts and jumps up to 48 volts so you can inject the power into the line for the dish to power up. I also have a five volt converter up there. It takes your 12 volts coming in and puts it down to five volts in a type C connector for my GLNet router. You can use any router you want, but I was looking for something that's purely DC powered. It doesn't need anything special. And this guy offers a lot more functionality for VPNs and all sorts of extra features and functions like changing your subnets if you need to for your internal network. But the cool thing with this is when it's all set up, you just got to close it in a box. You can put the box anywhere and now you have a fully functioning Go box. Lastly, on the side here, I have my Anderson power pole connection. With this cable, I can plug it in here, and in my Summit trailer, I also have Anderson power pole connection. It was a pretty simple job to do. It took me about an hour to do everything and test it, make sure it works. With using the Anderson power pole connection for power, I can plug it into my Jackery. I can plug it into anything that has 12 volt source. With this creating a little small dongle, I can plug it into anything that has 12 volts. So I hope you find this interesting. If you do, subscribe, follow along. Thank you for watching.